The World Conference on International Telecommunications is a UN conference hosted by the International Telecommunications Union to renegotiate a 1988 treaty called the International Telecommunication Regulations. The International Telecommunications Regulations are an old treaty. They first uh, were developed in the 1800s and have been renegotiated several times since then. They were last negotiated in 1988 and they are essentially uh, put in place to facilitate the exchange of international telecommunications traffic across borders as a way to help interconnect the world in terms of communications. I think that what we should do is step back and look at what's worked since 1988 in the field of international telecommunications. What has driven the growth of communications worldwide since then? Things like competition among carriers, transparency, regulatory independence, the evolution of networks. These are all things that have clearly driven connectivity worldwide and that aren't currently reflected in the 1988 treaty. So there are clear opportunities of positive things that could be included into the treaty to bring it up to date in a way that would be consistent with what we have seen that has worked since then. The impact on the internet could be either good or bad. We see uh, proposals currently to the treaty conference that would impact the way the internet um, operates, the architecture of the internet, the security of the internet, and the content of the internet. And unfortunately, some of the proposals that we see would take the old telephone model of regulation and simply apply it to new technologies like the internet. That would not be a good thing. If we find proposals and find things like promotion of competition or promotion of innovation or regulatory independence, we could see this treaty really being another stepping stone to further growth of connectivity around the globe. So really what it depends on is which direction member states decide to take us. The Internet Society is a member of the ITU, so at a global level we're allowed to participate in the international conversations at the ITU uh, about how the treaty should be modified. In addition, ISOC is a global organization. We have chapters and individual members, regional bureaus all over the world working with policymakers, working with the internet community to raise awareness about the treaty, to raise awareness about the importance of what's being proposed and discussed, and doing our part to inform policymakers on what we think are the implications of some of these proposals. Some of the things that individuals can do to get involved in the discussion about the ITRs is to become informed look at the treaty, understand what's at stake. The second most important thing is to reach out to policymakers in their country. This is an intergovernmental treaty negotiation, so member states are the ones that will be at the table, but it's incredibly important that they are in touch with their internet community, that they understand and have the information available to them, and that's what individuals can do to make their voices heard and to ensure that their policymakers in their country understand how important this is to them. To learn more about this treaty, go to internetsociety.org and get involved. Make your voice heard.